Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Quantum Leap Futures Morning Leap session for Friday, November the 4th, 2016. My name is Doug McKay. I'm the founder of Quantum Leap Futures. Each morning we get together in these live go-to sessions to take a look at the market macro or micro, take a look at the structure of the market, and then we drill down to our, tar our targets, our trade levels, and our hypotheses. We create multiple hypotheses in order to have a plan in place for whatever the market throws at us. We do not know what the market is going to do. We can only have a plan in place for uh, what it throws at us. Uh, this is a subscription service. If you're uh, interested in checking it out, send me an email at quantumleapfutures at gmail.com. There's no website. There's no blog. This is not a commercial venture. We do things here live every day in the go-to, in the pre-market session, and then uh, do live trading and analysis in the uh, RTH session. Please read through the disclaimer. No BF Quantum Leap is a certified trading advisor. We are retail traders operating within a self-organized learning environment. Past performance is not indicative of future results. And the trades that you see in Quantum Leap are for education purposes only. Please trade your own due diligence, your own trade plan, and your own risk metrics. Okay, so what happened yesterday? Well, we just absolutely chopped for the whole morning. Uh, this was just dreadful, dreadful. Uh, waiting for the IB to get taken out or the overnight high. Uh, you know, or the overnight low, or the naked VPOC, and uh, I personally got chopped up in this. Uh, that's why I was quiet, and then I got on the wrong side of this move down here, and uh, it was just a brutal, uh, brutal day for me. It broke a bunch of different rules, um, but, you know, sometimes uh, we get out, out off the reservation, and this was a t difficult day. Uh, if you didn't get into the short and stay short, uh, and just these two areas of chop was just just brutal. We've got a triple distribution set up. Uh, we were unable to get and hold uh, uh, into the upper distribution of the double distribution from uh, from Wednesday, uh, and then once we failed, uh, you know, we just chopped that uh, low, uh, fighting it. And then finally, they gave up the ghost and they moved down to where our next big target below, which was down at that 2080. Uh, and that was uh, indicated if we got below our key line in the sand. And then we had a little bit of rally. Uh, overnight, they just, uh, you know, basically balanced this out the whole night. Uh, finally got a move now. Uh, Non-farm payroll was... Uh, a bit of a snoozer. The uh, NFP number uh, is 2084. Uh, that's where the news came out. And then we uh, chopped it. And then now we're making a, uh, a move up and, uh, you know, just put in a new uh, Globex high. And again, we're going to be opening up near uh, a Globex high or a low uh, coming into this uh, RTH session. So let's just take a, a look at the we don't really have any other news, uh, any big news today. Uh, that was the big news there. Uh, we had uh, hourly wage earnings came in at 0 0.4 versus 0 0.3. Uh, uh, Non-farm came in at uh, 161 versus 174 expected, but better than previous at 156. And the unemployment rate basically stayed the same at 4.9 uh, as expected. Uh, trade balance uh, was negative 36.4 billion, so a little bit better there. And then unemployment change uh, was much better um, uh, in Canada, and unemployment rate remained the uh, the same. We have uh, Canadian IV PMI, um, and then we've got uh, Fisher speaking, but that's basically at the end of the markets, uh, so nothing really big there. Um, Taking a look at the macro to the micro, you can see that, uh, you know, we're open the month at uh, 21.2350 and we're still uh, moving down. We're breaking below the 9 and coming down to test the, uh, the uh, 20. That 66 area is going to be very important to us uh, uh, today. Uh, but, uh, you know, we are challenging the trend and going sideways with the possibility of, uh, of a move down. Uh, going to the weekly, you can see that we've uh, we've broken below the 9 and the 20, and we've got a possibility of a, uh, a move uh, down and a start of a downward trend. Going to the daily, we do have uh, acceleration of the trend down. Uh, you know, we've uh, had some pretty negative days. Uh, we've had six 
negative RTH sessions in a row, and that hasn't happened since 2008. Um, and uh, you know how 2008 was. So just be careful because uh, we could still get some more capitulation to the downside. As we move into the, uh, the uh, intraday, you can see that uh, we you know, continue to parallel the, uh, the price down in a downward trend. We are just coming up and testing the uh, 9 EMA from below at 88.50, but the trend is still down. <coughs> the one hour uh, has popped up above the 9 and the 20, so we're seeing uh, a little bit of support coming in here, possibility of a, of a trend change, and we are challenging the trend. There's a naked cross up here at uh, 2091, and going to the 30 minute, same thing, move uh, a consolidation, then a move up and a challenge to the trend. 15 minute, you see we're starting to get a upward trend. And then on the five minute, you see that we uh, have a big move up after the news. And, uh, you know, we do not have a FUBAR Mr. Sneaky as this is a double top. So likely to get uh, continuation uh, rather than anything. Taking a look at the structure of the market, you can see this is what I was talking about right here is, uh, is this, uh, this one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six uh, RTH sessions. We fell out of this balance up here, coming down. This was the price, the 208050, which was the price that we accepted, uh, you know, just be, uh, just after the breakout of this balance area down here. Uh, you've got the 7650 value area high. Uh, that's going to be a very uh, important level because if we get back in uh, below that, then I'd be pushing for the 72 and then that, uh, you know, all important level 6650. And then we're back into this balance, which we spent most of the beginning of the year uh, chopping around in. Um, there's not much to guide us in the longer term here right now. Um, you've got uh, the 98, which is a three-day microcomposite VPOC, but the, we're unable to hold that, and we've pushed lower. Uh, we're currently trading just uh, below the three-day uh, microcomposite value area low um, and uh, in the thin area of the, uh, of the profile. Um, so there's not a lot we can use. Uh, we have to go to the shorter time frame really uh, to uh, try to get a bead on this because, you know, unless we get uh, uh, below yesterday's open and come down and challenge this, you know, then I'd be looking for them to uh, walk our way back up towards that uh, 90 area. Um, but it's anybody's game right now. Our, whoops. Our overnight session is basically balanced, neutral to slightly positive now. Um, you know, we're you know, looks like we're going to create this uh, this uh, upper distribution here and put in a little LVN at 86. Um, so our overnight low is 80.50. Our current overnight high, which is likely to get broken, is 88 and a quarter. Um, we're probably going to put in a, a new overnight high uh, even before uh, we get into the R RTH session. 88 and a quarter. Our VPOC is all the way down here at uh, 82.50. It did shift down here, so you can see that there was strong buying coming down. Uh, we worked. Uh, having our VPOC up here and then started shifting down and then it shifted down on that move down on the uh, on the uh, uh, non-farm news uh, and then you had strong buying coming in and they rotated it up uh, six and three quarter points so uh, hopefully that's the, the buyers coming in and uh, and holding us 82.50 
You can see that we've broken down uh, below the uh, the weekly downside ATR target and and bounced. So this really isn't going to be relative now. Take that off the chart. <clears throat> We've got this uh, LVN zone that we're creating at 86. That is the value area uh, low from yesterday. Um, you can see we closed outside of value area. Um, there's a LVN here at 85, so I'm going to split the difference and use this range from 85 uh, and a quarter up to 86. And I uh, just want to make sure I'm above 86 if I'm getting long or below uh, 85 and a quarter if I'm getting short. Uh, our first target below that is the close at 84. And then the naked V POC at 82.50 from the Globex session. And there's really not much more I can get from there. So just get rid of that. And then taking a look at what we've got uh, below, uh, our uh, overnight high being 88 and a quarter, our daily ATR um, is running at 19.99. So that takes our daily ATR downside target to 68.26. And then off of the overnight uh, low of uh, 80.50, um, takes our uh, upside daily ATR target to 2150.00. All right, and then we've got the triple distribution, so we do have to pay attention to the two LVNs. The target uh, uh, above the 86 is, uh, is going to be the 80, 87.50, but you've got the overnight high rate there, so uh, you could use either one of those. But because 87 and a quarter was the uh, prior day low, uh, on uh, on Wednesday, I'm going to use that as a target, <clears throat> and then above the uh, the 91, your first target will be the 93 CHVN, and then of course the uh, naked VPOC here at 95. Value area high. Uh, is not going to be important in here, but you can use it for continuation because I think if we get above it, uh, I'd be looking for a move to take out the high and that uh, 98. And then you've got the uh, 2100 uh, and the daily upside ATR target. Above the uh, 2100, 0350. And then all our, uh, all our uh, levels remain the same uh, above there. Not that I think we're going to uh, to get up there, but you never know. You never know. And then uh, below uh, below the 86, the first target is 84, then 82, and then you've got the overnight low with the uh, with the range low from the prior day at 79, 76, or 75, I should say. And then below that, you know, we've got that. Uh, 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 value micro composite value area high at the 76 and a quarter and that's going to be an important level and then below that the 7250 uh, and then the daily downside ATR 6650 and then once we're below the 6650 then we're into this undetermined fair value, and I'd be targeting all the way down here into the 2035.50 composite VPOC. I don't think that's going to uh, to happen today, but you never know. I think we're going to end up with a balancing day and most likely get an inside day uh, today. Um, so my main hypothesis is a open auction in uh, in range, maybe in value. 
uh, a move down to uh, take out the uh, the uh, uh, the close and the uh, overnight uh, VPOC come down, possibly uh, take out the overnight low and then uh, failed breakout or false breakout and start walking our way back up, chop around in the 86, push through, come up, test the other side of this uh, uh, this level, chop back and forth, and maybe get a late day probe up into uh, the 95 with maybe a push to 08. So basically, I'm looking for an inside day on hypo 1 with the skew slightly to the upside as we come up and test these uh, distributions, especially if we get uh, above the 87, because that puts us uh, back inside of uh, Thursday distribution, or Wednesday's distribution, I mean, and then I'd be watching uh, that 95 level, because that's the LVN from uh, the two distributions uh, on that day. Hypo 2 is an open auction in range, a push up through, testing the 91 uh, area, push through, take out the 90, 95, maybe up into the 97, but somewhere here, finding uh, sellers, and then rotating us back and basically just chopping uh, inside of uh, the range or value uh, and get an inside day. Hypo 3 is an open auction in range, a uh, push up, failure somewhere, uh, you know, between the 87 and the 91, find responsive sellers, push us down, test the low, and then get continuation down towards that uh, 76, 72, and the daily downside target, and get another uh, uh, bearish day for the seventh in a row. And then hypo four is an open auction in range. Failure to uh, break outside of the uh, of the uh, uh, range low and then move up and chop around in the up distribution and then push through into the 2100 and come up here uh, in towards that 2106, 2108 area. So those are my four hyp uh, hypotheses. We're currently trading at uh, 86. We could put in an, uh, a new uh, overnight high uh, prior to the open, but uh, uh, just make the adjustments uh, uh, as, as they happen. Uh, the 24-hour uh, VPOC is sitting at 84 with the Keltner center line, uh, and if we hold that, a move to the upper Keltner is going to take us up into that 90 and, uh, and uh, test the middle distribution and the midpoint and the VWAP from yesterday. If we break below that, a move down to the lower Keltner is going to take us down into the 78 and a break uh, of, the, uh, of the range low as a possibility. That's going to complete our pre-market session. As always, trade well, trade safe, and we'll catch you on the flip side.